Hello, I am, I decided to make a quick vlog, and I'm coming to you today looking crazy, um, but, uh, I was out in the cold almost all day, and it started to rain just as I arrived home, and, you know, my hair just suffered the consequences, so that's what happened, and sometimes my hair just refuses to cooperate. So, so be it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I was thinking today, you know, all of this I'm racist talk and Marissa's racist and Marissa Gonzalez is the biggest racist, blah, 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 blah. All of that is based on circumstantial evidence and maybe stuff that I did in the past. But I really, I mean, it's not like I... um. In my heart, I loved, but on the outside, there was just this anger, and it just came over me, and that was a curse. Everyone knows that was a curse. Anyway, I, you know, I don't feel that way. I don't anymore. That was, it's been a long time, years and years and years since that went away, and you know, I know that I've said a few things on my vlogs that. People might have been like, what? But um, to try to entrap me, that's really, you know, that's, that's kind of, I don't know. But I figured that for everyone who comes to me trying to get in my face that they think I'm racist or prejudiced or whatever, I'm just going to answer with love and kindness if I can. Because there are... Um, the ex-friends who did so much to me and won't leave me alone that I don't know if I could answer them with love and kindness because they haven't backed off in all these years. Um, I know that I could give it to Jesus and Jesus could answer in love and kindness to the ex-friends and people who, you know, just were around in the past and made my life miserable. So I, I, I know I could give it to Jesus, but I don't know if I have it in me right now. I mean, I've had it in me before, but it just keeps coming and they just keep doing and doing and doing that, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't. I know that I wasn't in this mindset when I ran into a few people a few weeks ago, and I really wasn't happy to see them, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, so that's that, but yeah, if I, I would answer to anyone who wasn't one of those people, the ex-friends, okay, I would answer, hopefully, I pray, with love and kindness, you know? Anyway, and because that's all I can do, what am I supposed to do? Get into an argument, and then that would make me look even worse, and do something, no, no, love and kindness. Uh, because that's what I feel towards humanity. <clears throat> anyway, so what else? So that's that thought went through my head today. And I was thinking about it, you know, just based on recent events and the things I went through. So now there I have a plan in, of action. What else? Uh, so there are two projects left. And I keep talking about my sewing class. But really, that's the only thing going on in my life. So, there are two projects left, and I'm hoping I can finish those quickly so that I can make two more things. Um, I really want to uh, make a, a, um, a clothespin bag, and I really want to make a duffel bag, you know? Because I have just been walking around with, I'm not going to say what company, but a company that you deliver food for their bags, and I've been just been using them for my stuff. 
So, you know, it's free advertisement, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if they want it, but whatever. Um, and so now I have to see if I can find uh, some bags or make a duffel bag. You know, and the reason I walked around with those uh, food bags, food warmer bags, is because uh, they zip. They zip. And I could, I could keep things inside of them. And I have two of them. So I was just walk, left one at home with stuff in it. And, I, you know, just switch them out whenever I needed. Anyway, but that's that. And uh, what else? Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, yeah, my crisscross skirt. You know, <laughs> I wrote about $29.99 and Greater Melonia so many years ago. But I'm thinking a little bit more about it now because of the sewing class that I'm taking, you know? They have some dress forms there, but I have no clue whatsoever how to, um, how to drape clothing, but, uh, but it, the, it all, the whole, the whole environment of the class, you know, the, the studio, all that, the setup, everything, is so nice. It's so nice. I really love being there. You know, I just have not been a good student, and we all know why. And, you know, but I don't know. I mean, I just like that kind of environment. And I can't wait to set up my own studio here at the house. So I can't wait. Anyway, so that's that. Um, oh, yeah, a duffel bag and a clothespin bag. I would love to be able to make those, but with such little time, I doubt if I'll be able to make those. I doubt it. Anyway, um, what else? So, oh, my car is fixed. Yeah, so my car is fixed after all, and I didn't have to pay a penny. So, thank you, man, and thank you someone else and thank you someone else and thank you thank you very much for everyone involved thank you so much for helping me fix my car and making sure uh it worked before i was left to my own devices thank you and uh what else um, i don't know i don't know let's see You know, I know that I have two people in me, like two sides of me. One side is very social, extremely social. And the other side is extremely introverted. And I, you know, I know I've said this before many times on my blogs and my vlogs and all of that, but... You know, there came a time when I was extremely social. And that's when I started realizing that all of these and all of these interactions with these people, like my friends and stuff, were all like them trying to get over on me and trying to do things to me. And, and it was so negative. All of it was so negative that... And then when they all just dumped me and left me and left me to my own devices in the middle of a nervous breakdown, I was so sad and lonely. I mean, I really was. I was lonely and sad and devastated, you know? And as time went on, I, I moved to New York and I realized that you know, just hanging out in my apartment by myself made me feel really good. But I wasn't by myself. I had my dogs. And uh, my boyfriend at the time lived right next door. So um, he got me the apartment. It was right next door to his. So 
Um, I don't know. It was nice to realize that I could be alone and still be happy. And I carry that through this day. So anyway, I'm going to run out of battery. So on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow. And things go your way. All right. Bye.